What if I told you that right now, hurtling through the darkness of space, there is an object the size of a small mountain that just executed a maneuver so precise it defies every law of natural physics we know, and in just a few months it will arrive at Jupiter with an accuracy that rivals our most advanced spacecraft, except nobody programmed it, nobody launched it, and nobody has any idea what it truly is or what it plans to do next? Stick around, because what happened next will blow your mind. If you are captivated by the mysteries lurking in the cosmic void and want to see more mind-bending stories about visitors from beyond our solar system, smash that like button and let the universe know you are watching. Every click helps keep the search for the unknown alive, and trust me, you will not want to miss what we are about to uncover today. Now picture this moment carefully. March 16th, 2026. Mark that date in your mind because on that day, something extraordinary is going to happen. An object known as 3I Atlas will glide into position near Jupiter at a distance so surgically precise that it matches, almost to the mile, the exact threshold where Jupiter's gravitational pull and the Sun's overwhelming force reach a delicate balance. And here is what makes your spine tingle. This object is decelerating, slowing down, near Jupiter, with a level of accuracy that feels less like the chaotic tumbling of a comet and more like a calculated pause, a deliberate hold, as if something is gently pressing the brakes at exactly the right moment. Not a single comet in all of recorded history has ever done this. Not one. Astronomers around the world are now staring at their data, rechecking their calculations, and asking themselves a question that keeps them awake at night. What invisible hand is guiding us? If gravity alone cannot explain this trajectory, if natural forces cannot account for this level of precision, then what is charting the course of 3I Atlas? And more importantly, why is it heading exactly where it is heading? Let me take you back to the beginning of this mystery because understanding how we got here makes what is happening now even more unsettling. When 3i Atlas first appeared, it looked like nothing special. Just a faint dot of light emerging from the infinite blackness of interstellar space, racing inward on what seemed like a standard hyperbolic path. Scientists saw it and thought, okay, another visitor from beyond, probably just going to swing past the sun and vanish forever into the void. Its speed, its angle, its brightness, everything checked out. Everything seemed normal, unremarkable even. But then something changed. And that change is what transformed this from a routine observation into one of the most perplexing mysteries in modern astronomy. As 3I Atlas ventured closer to the sun, it started behaving differently subtly at first. Small deviations that might have been easy to dismiss. But those deviations kept adding up, and soon it became impossible to ignore. This thing was not following the path that physics said it should follow. It was adjusting, correcting, moving with a kind of intention that natural objects simply do not possess. And here is where it gets really strange. After 3I Atlas made its closest approach to the sun, that moment we call perihelion, it experienced something scientists call non-gravitational acceleration. Basically, it got a push, a nudge. And that nudge was not random, it was not chaotic. It was perfectly aligned to steer the object toward the exact position it occupies right now. Think about that for a second. Out of infinite possible directions, out of countless trajectories it could have taken, the force that pushed it was aimed with pinpoint accuracy at a destination millions of miles away. Now scientists have seen comets get pushed around before, when a comet heats up near the sun, jets of vaporized gas erupt from its surface, and those jets can shove it slightly off course. But here is the thing, those jets are messy. Comets tumble, they spin, they release gas in random bursts that fire in all directions. The result is usually chaotic motion, unpredictable paths, nothing that looks even remotely organized. 3i Atlas is different, fundamentally different. 
and that difference is why so many astronomers now believe this object is not just passively drifting through space. It may be responding to something. It may possess internal characteristics we have never encountered before. Later, we will discover exactly how precise this alignment truly is. And when you hear the numbers, you will understand why some scientists are quietly using a word they rarely speak out loud. Intentional. What makes this even harder to dismiss is that over 200 observatories around the world have confirmed the same findings. Independent teams, different telescopes, separate calculations, and every single one of them keeps tightening around the same conclusion. This object is no longer moving according to gravity alone. Each new measurement sharpens the picture. Each updated model reveals the same astonishing fact. 3i Atlas is heading toward the boundary of Jupiter's hill sphere with a consistency that defies natural explanation, right? And here is what sends chills down the spines of researchers. The course correction it received near the sun was exactly, and I mean exactly, the amount needed to send it to this one specific location in all of space. If that push had been even slightly stronger or slightly weaker, 3i Atlas would have missed Jupiter's gravitational boundary by millions of miles. The odds of a random gas jet firing at precisely the right moment, with precisely the right strength, in precisely the right direction? Astronomers have run the numbers. The probability is so small it barely registers. Taken together, these four explanations sketch out where science stands right now, yet none of them truly resolve the puzzle. If the answer is not simple measurement error, not coincidence, not ordinary outgassing, then what kind of process is capable of sustaining such a smooth, precisely tuned voyage across the void? And that brings us to Jupiter itself, because understanding why 3i Atlas is heading there helps explain why some Scientists suspect there may be far more at work than basic mechanics. Jupiter is the heavyweight champion of our solar system. Its gravitational field is so intense that mission planners routinely use it as a natural engine, flinging spacecraft onto new routes with minimal fuel. A single close pass can boost speed, bleed it off, or bend a trajectory into an entirely different direction. This is why Jupiter is often thought of as a navigation gate, a gravitational crossroads that can reshape the journey of almost anything straying into its influence. Okay? The outer rim of Jupiter's hill sphere is even more fascinating because it is the exact zone where the pull of Jupiter balances with the pull of the Sun. In, in that fragile equilibrium, tiny adjustments in speed translate into dramatic changes in direction. Direction. Regions like this function, almost like invisible stepping stones, allowing spacecraft to linger or shift orbits with surprisingly little effort. Engineers have spent decades working out the equations and time needed to hit these sweet spots, and even with modern tools, reaching them is a delicate operation. It's that backdrop, the smooth, unwavering descent of 3i Atlas into the same kind of region becomes very hard to dismiss as ordinary. Jupiter's importance also rests on a broader principle. Deep gravity wells like this help any traveler, whether natural or engineered, move through a planetary system while conserving energy. If an object wanted to save power, collect data, or transition cleanly from one path to another, this boundary would be a logical gate to pass through. Even ordinary comets and asteroids can undergo wild shifts in motion when they stray into such sensitive zones. Yet 3i Atlas is slipping into this area with a calm, almost composed trajectory that, that feels more like deliberate navigation than random wandering. This calm glide through such a turbulent gravitational landscape forces a deeper question. Is this object interacting with Jupiter's realm in a way that current physics does not fully capture? The fact that 3i Atlas seems to be slowing as it approaches only adds to the intrigue, because deceleration near the hill sphere hints that something might be about to change. It could alter heading, linger briefly, 
couple with the gravitational field in a way that generates a completely new phase of motion. These possibilities turn Jupiter into a central piece of the puzzle because it creates exactly the environment where tiny forces produce enormous consequences. And if Jupiter truly functions as a gateway for movement deeper into the solar system, then the real question becomes unavoidable. What will 3i Atlas choose to do once it brushes the edge of this immense gravitational frontier? As 3i Atlas closes in on Jupiter, three broad scenarios have emerged, and each one carries the potential to fundamentally reshape how we understand interstellar visitors. The first outcome is fragmentation. The object could begin breaking apart as it reaches the boundary. The tug of war between Jupiter and the Sun generates powerful tidal stresses, and many comets have been observed splitting under such rapid gravitational changes. A breakup here would peel back the outer shell and expose the interior in ways no telescope alone could achieve. Layers, hollow regions, exotic materials, all of it revealed. This would be a once-in-a-generation opportunity to study genuine interstellar debris while raising fresh questions. Dot about how such a fragile structure survived an enormous journey through space to reach this point. Okay. The second scenario is even more enigmatic. Some scientists suspect 3i Atlas could start shedding smaller objects or particle clouds as it decelerates near the boundary. It's do occasionally release fragments, but doing so precisely at a gravitational transition zone would hint at something more structured. If smaller pieces drop off and then settle into stable paths or drift in clearly defined patterns, astronomers will examine their distributions carefully to see whether they resemble ordinary comet fragments. Any configuration that appears unusually organized or coordinated would stretch current assumptions about what an interstellar object can do. The phrase payload release may sound dramatic but even a modest swarm of fragments moving in unison would ignite serious debate about the purpose, if any, behind this visit. In a, the third possibility is perhaps the most startling. 3i Atlas could alter its course once again upon reaching the outer fringe of Jupiter's gravitational domain. A fresh change in motion would imply the object is acutely responsive to surrounding gravitational forces, acting in ways that do not match simple inert comets. If it bends onto a new trajectory, slows further, or briefly slips into orbit around Jupiter, that would strongly suggest more than random forces are shaping its journey. Such a sudden shift would give scientists a rare chance to refine their models and compare this behavior directly with trajectory adjustments seen in carefully guided spacecraft deepening the mystery of what exactly is traveling through our skies. That is, even the smallest shift in trajectory at this critical juncture could emerge as one of the most telling pieces of evidence in this entire puzzle. These three potential outcomes underscore just how rare this encounter truly is, because whichever path materializes will expose entirely different layers of truth about what 3i Atlas is, and what has been steering it through the void, whether it splinters into pieces, ejects smaller bodies, or pivots onto a new heading, the observations will fundamentally reshape the kinds of questions researchers ask about how objects move between the stars. And when one of these scenarios plays out, what hidden reality will it expose about this enigmatic visitor now closing in on Jupiter's domain. What began as an apparent random drift through our solar system now resembles something closer to a choreographed sequence because the surgical precision with which 3i Atlas is arriving at Jupiter. Its gravitational threshold implies a degree of deliberation that natural bodies almost never exhibit. The exactness of its alignment, the flawless timing, the unshaken composure of its descent. Every detail converges on a singular moment that could unlock revelations far deeper than anything a typical comet would offer. Whatever happens in the coming weeks may permanently alter humanity's understanding of 
what it means when something arrives from beyond our stellar neighborhood. If this pause at the edge of Jupiter's influence was orchestrated rather than accidental, then the next question becomes, what is 3i Atlas positioning itself to accomplish once it resumes motion? Drop your theories in the comments below. What do you think is really going on here? Is this an incredible cosmic coincidence, or are we witnessing something that will rewrite the textbooks? Share your thoughts, because this conversation is just beginning, and do not stop here. The universe is brimming with secrets waiting to be uncovered, uncovered, mysteries that challenge everything we think we know about the cosmos. Click on the next video and join us as we explore even more astonishing enigmas from the farthest reaches of space, because if 3i Atlas has taught us anything, it is that the universe still has the power to surprise us in ways we never imagined possible